Hello everybody, hope you're doing great. I'm coming to you today with another project, another envelope, working on the previous ones that we had made. These are the ones that we made in the last video. A ruffle topped one, this one has some uh, different stickers and thing on it, and then this one I made I don't have a video of it, but it's the same design. It's coffee dyed and crinkled, and then I stamped on it and just added embellishments. So it just has a wonderful, mysterious vintage look to it. I'm actually quite fond of it. Today I want to do something different though. I'm going to be doing another envelope, but I want this one so that it'll hang over the top. So come along and let's get going. This is the same cut in the same way that we did the other one. I've got the, the top sheet like this, and then I've got a little square sheet. I'll put the link up above uh, to how I did it and how to cut it and everything like that, because it's the same way as the previous one. I'm just adding a little twist to it. So now that we have this part, we're gonna fold it down, but actually the area that we fold down, this is the part that's gonna be over the top of a page. And let me show you. Well, let me just show you. I can grab my book here. So this is what I envision. I know this is upside down, but I'm just going to show you. So it's going to hook over the top of a page like this, and then I can tuck things under, and then when I turn it over, I'll have a pocket right here. So depending on the size of page, can't see that, can ya? Okay, then I'll have a pocket right there. So you want to determine the size of page or place that you want to put it. So this one just fits just perfectly into the size of the book. I might cut it down just a little bit though, just to allow that little bit of wiggle room. And you might too. So kind of have an idea of the, the place that you want to put it. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut like maybe, mm, I don't know, half inch off of each size, off each side. Something like that. So let me tell you how wide I have this one. So now I have this one. I have it four and three quarters inches wide. So I'm going to cut these double layers, these two pieces, also four and a half inches wide. Actually, why don't I just hold them over the top? So my arm is still broken in a sling, and so I'm you know, I'm, I'm making shortcuts so that I don't have to pull everything out quite as much. Okay, so that's going to go over the top of the back page. And then this is going to go over on this side. What I want to do with this side, though, I'm going to take my pieces and I'm going to fold down. I, it can go clear down to the bottom like that. So I'm just folding the edge over. And then I'm taking the other side and I'm doing the same thing so that I have two folds that are going to cross over each other like that. And a little more. So the thing about cutting them the way I'm cutting them, not you know pulling up to any measure thing or doing it, the edges aren't like perfect. So if, if that's an issue for you, you got to kind of adjust that. I'm going to pull mine down a little bit. I'm going to play with it to get it how I want it to go. I think I'm going to turn this one down just a little bit more to get that angle more towards the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and just glue it. Now you can sew yours on. I'm gluing mine just because that's what I've got right here. That's what I can do right here. At least that's what I think I can do my, right here. My glue is having a mind of its own. So I'm going to glue this one on first. And this would look really cool coffee dyed as well, by the way. I need to coffee dye some more. I did some dyeing yesterday. Um, a little bit of coffee dyeing, but I took kale from my garden. And I dyed some kale. Playing around with that. Okay, so as I put this one on, I'm going to eyeball it. And I'm going to see if I want to kind of do any adjustments or anything. I like that. Make sure I have glue all the way up. I'm going to turn it over. 
I can put a fun little edge. I'll, I'll kind of show you. I can do like a little scalloped edge with the hangover that I have here. Or I could just cut it flat out. That's the little edge. It makes it just kind of pretty. So on the other side, what I'm going to prep, I'm going to do that little scallop top, just like I did the other one. Uh, let's see. I'll put the link to the other one so you can see that as well. For this one, since I made it smaller, I'm going to just trim off a little bit of it to make it so it's more rounded rather than that than that uh, straight edge. So I'm going to put my first layer on, put a little glue on each side, and I'm going to create kind of a ruffle just by smushing it up. Just playing around with it until I get it where I feel good about it. That's good. And then I want another layer, so I'm going to grab another piece of leftover. Let's see which one do I want. Oh, I like this one. Okay. So let me cut it off and make sure it's the right size. That's about how high. So I'm going to cut off a little bit from the top so that it's not too long and covers up my other ruffle. So once again I'm just going to lay a line of glue here at the top. Lay this on both sides and then scrunch up a little ruffle. Nice! So there I've got the ruffle at the top. Got this little folding over here on this side. So now what I want to do is I want to get a paper clip secured. So to do the paper clip, I'm going to add a couple different pieces of paper with it. So if I do this one, and I do it the length of the envelope. See, that's going to go over the back, so you won't see it. You will see that little part there, though, so I'm going to put one more little piece. So I'm going to first glue that and then glue that. Okay, so I've got my paper clip. It's going over the top here of the page. So this little piece of paper I'm going to be gluing on to the back side here of my envelope. But first I want to glue a little piece of my paper clip right here. And the reason I'm doing that is on the other side it'll show through. So it's like that. So now I'm going to glue that down. So glue it all the way over. Make sure that's glued down well. And now I'm gluing this here. So on this side right here, this is the side, okay, let me show you, like, let's pretend this is the top of the book. So when the paper clip goes here, this is going to go over the top of the page. So I want to just have something cute right there over that. And then this is on this side, and you're not going to see that. And this will be a little tuck spot that you can put things under to hold. Okay, back to this side. 
So I want to do uh, just something fun right here, something cute, something that looks like it's supposed to be. And I like actually this ticket, this half ticket that I prepared for a different project and didn't use. So for that, I'm going to use, actually I'm just going to use a little bit of paper on the back side because I don't want it too, um, I don't want it thick. I want to be cautious of that. And I'm going to cut it just so it's a little bit smaller than this, than this piece. So it's just kind of hidden right behind it so it can't be seen. So now I'm going to place my paper in here, got that there, and I'm going to go ahead and glue on my ticket that I prepared. So as I do this, I need to make sure I don't get glue too far to the other side that it's going to stick to the paper down here. There we go. So I do have these little punch spots here, so I'm going to take my punch and just cut out that underneath paper so it's not sticking out. See how it's, you can see it a little bit? Now it's gone. So nice. So there's that. I can put a flower. Or I, that can be written on right here. I can do whatever I want. But I've got that side with my ruffle. I want to decorate the ruffle. So for that I'm going to take a, just a little piece of crepe paper and I'm going to cut it I think in half Let's try that much. I'm just going to make a little ruffle pinching it at the top here so I just brought it all together at the top and then I'm fanning it out. And then it'll bring that right there. Okay. So I'm going to have my glue now as I do that. And place some glue at these spots. To hold it together. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. So just a little more glue right there. And then it's going to go there. So I'm going to put some glue on the back here. And I'm going to glue it down. I'm just going to glue along that, the top line. If I glue farther down in there, I'm going to, I don't want a glue look on my stuff. And it'll hold in place fine once I get that going. So remember, this is going over. So all you're going to see on this side is the ruffle. So what I want is a little flower on top of the ruffle. This is a piece of just wrapping paper from the dollar store. I'm going to see if I can use this pink flower right here. Don't you love the dollar store? Sometimes it just has the perfect thing. So I can do that, although it would be nice to have something else behind it. Get my trusty little cheesecloth. Put that there. That's what it needed. So this bunches up just a little bit. It's um, It's got a fullness to it, but once you get it in your book and close it in your pages, it's going gonna, it's gonna to lay nicely and you're still going to have that wonderful ruffle effect. So I'm going to turn it over here now and look at this next 
side and see what I want to do. The first thing I think I want to do is come and have a card going in here. So something with the pink in it would be awesome. Let me see what scraps I have. Oh, this one would be perfect. Okay, that one goes there. And then, let's see. Just gonna see what it looks like with this folded into the inside instead of the outside. I like that, it gives it a cleaner look. Now I have a pink rosette I want to place right there. And then maybe with a few pieces, ooh, this is a little scrap of green would be nice. I'm going to cut it, I think. bottom. Don't you love it when you can just grab your scraps and use them and not planning it but it just happens to be there and it's awesome. See I like that. All right I'm gonna glue that down and it's gonna be that long. leave these on or I can just clip them off. For this one I'm just going to clip them off. So I've got that there. Oh this is my next, well no I like it up there. So I still need, what I wanted to make were some leaves. So I'm going to cut some leaves out of this green. like after I did that like I almost should have some green in here too but so I'm gonna cut a teeny tiny leaf Dab of glue there. A little bit. Nice. I just like it with that just just extra color there. Just enough. It just kind of oh, brings it together nicely. Oops. <laughs> Sticking in my finger. Wow, there we go. Okay. So now let's take a look at what it looks like on a book page. Oops, you can't see. Sorry about that with my arm. <laughs> okay, so I just put this over the top. I'll do it again so you can see. So here's the book. That's what it looks like when it's all flattened out. We're going to push this over the edge. So that's the front there. And then We've got this under here. We can tuck things under that we want. Lift it up. I'll put something here. I'm not sure what I want yet. I might wait till I have 
I'm actually using it in a book and decide what I want to do there. And then when you turn it over, you have this top pocket, and we've got, um, there you go, when we flip it over, flip the page over, we've got the top pocket, we've got the tuck right here, but then also we have the long tuck underneath, like that, because of the uh, paper clip, so we can tuck things underneath. That's probably not the best page, but you get the idea, right? Tuck something under, and tuck something over. You have a nice little tuck spot. Anyway, so that's my envelope for today. It's a little variation on the previous ones. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Something a little bit different. Hope you have a great day, and I'll talk with you later. Bye.